Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. I'm your host, Ryan Krunenberg. So we've had quite a few announcements this week. We've got some new AWS Community Heroes. We've got a new power bundle for workspaces. Recognition is now available in the GovCloud region. And we also had two summits, one in Paris and one in London. So AWS have announced six new AWS Community Heroes this week. And apologies if I mispronounce anyone's name, but these heroes are Ben Kehoe, Joshua Levy, Marcia Bialba, Michael Ezel, Thanos Baskus, and Rob Gruhl. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to Ben Kehoe from iRobot, who sponsored the competition at Serverless Conf Austin. Marcia Bialba, who's also a speaker at Serverless Conf, and she has an awesome YouTube channel that you should definitely check out and subscribe to. And then also Rob Gruhl from Nordstrom, whose team won the Serverless Architecture uh, competition at Serverless Conf. So big shout out to the three of you. So Recognition is now available in the AWS GovCloud region, and Recognition was released last year at reInvent, and basically it's a service that makes it easy to add image analysis to your applications. With Recognition, you can detect objects, scenes, faces, recognize celebrities, and even identify inappropriate content in images. You can also search and compare faces. So now that Recognition is available within GovCloud, government agencies will now have access to this service. Analysts and developer customers of Amazons have been asking them to release workstation class machines for their VDI solution workspaces. Developers want to run Visual Studio, IntelliJ, Eclipse, and other IDEs. And analysts want to run complex simulations, statistical analysis using things like MATLAB or GNU Octave. And this week, Amazon have announced that they are extending the current set of workspaces bundle with a new power bundle. Now, this power bundle gives you four vCPUs, it gives you 16 gigs of memory, and 275 gigs gigs of storage. And this bundle is designed to make those developers and analysts happy and be able to run the workloads that they need using workspaces. And so this week, there was also two summits. There was one in Paris on Tuesday and one in London on Wednesday. And the London one was absolutely huge. I've never seen that many people at a London summit before. Makes me wonder if they're going to do a European reinvent uh, sometime next year, but no, no official announcements. Let's just wait and see. The key takeaways from the summits was we got to uh, hear a lot of uh, different and interesting uh, talks on artificial intelligence, uh, big data, as well as different serverless architectures. And uh, for me personally, there was a really, really good one um, done by Ocado, and hopefully that will be available online to watch. It is definitely worth checking out. We also got to meet a whole bunch of students uh, who all came up and told us their stories of using the Acloud Guru platform. And um, for me personally, it makes all the hard work really worth it. I love hearing your stories, guys. So thanks for coming over and saying hello. So that's it for AWS this week. Next week, we will be on the road. Um, so we'll have some interesting locations and hopefully some interesting announcements. So keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and see you next week.